Well, it's been more than two years since the deadly earthquake and tsunami in Japan, and there are still serious concerns about radioactive material that spilled out of the Fukushima nuclear plant. Will it reach our beach? KZI 9 News reporter Rhoda Krause spoke with one researcher at Oregon State University today and has more from Corvallis. Researchers here at OSU have been monitoring the radiation levels and wildlife along the west coast. This is one of their radiation detectors here at the center in Corvallis. And their discoveries might come as a surprise. I can show you my trip to Fukushima. Getting ready to uh, go onto uh, the top of uh, Reactor 4 at Fukushima. Catherine Higley works at the Radiation Center at OSU. This is, this is just a Google map, but I was on top of this building right here. And she's been monitoring radiation levels since the spill in Fukushima two and a half years ago. These are our uh, air filters. She went to the plant site in January and has been looking at radiation levels in Japan as well as here in the U.S. Did you feel safe? Oh, absolutely. I was actually, I was really surprised. You can't see it, but there's a couple of radiation monitors. Researchers wear these devices that monitor how much radiation is present. Uh, immediately following the accident, right along the coast of Japan, right next to the plant, there were some elevated concentrations. But since then, Higley says the radioactive material from this plant, like sodium, has dispersed in the water and is not causing any issues off the coast of Japan. We don't expect uh, any adverse consequences to the animals, you know, to marine species, to people consuming those uh, species from the releases at, at Fukushima. And even in Japan, Higley says the radioactive levels are low. Epidemiologists are saying they, they do not expect that they'll ever be able to see a, an uptick in cancer in the population attributed to Fukushima. Now, the research is still ongoing. Scientists will be collecting data along the West Coast and in Japan for years to come. In Corvallis, Rhoda Krause, KEZI 9 News.